Le secrétaire général de l'ONU, Ban Ki-moon, a appelé mercredi Israël à revenir sur sa décision de déclarer la bande de Gaza entité hostile, l'estimant contraire à ses obligations envers les civils au regard du droit international. Ban Ki-moon s'est dit très préoccupé par la décision prise par le gouvernement israélien de déclarer la bande de Gaza entité hostile et par son intention proclamée d'interrompre la fourniture des services essentiels comme l'électricité et le carburant à la population. Ces propos interviennent à l'heure où la secrétaire d'État américaine Condoleezza Rice se trouve en Israël pour une sixième tournée proche-orientale. Je like voudrais secretary Rice to the region. Uh, we discussed, of course, the situation in the region, uh, the ongoing dialogue between Israel and the Palestinians, the need to reach an understanding between Israel and the Palestinians, and uh, to reach uh, an understanding on the widest common ground, which is possible, I hope. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, we discussed the Iranian threat, uh, the need to take some... Uh, Palestiniens dialogue. We are um, hopeful that it can move forward to uh, common understandings of a way forward to the creation of a Palestinian state so that two states can live side by side in peace and freedom. La décision israélienne de présenter la bande de Gaza comme une entité hostile entend tenter de mettre un terme au tir quasi quotidien de roquettes palestiniennes en direction d'Israël. And uh, our decisions today decide that Uh, that uh, it's uh, declaring that uh, uh, Gaza Strip is a hostile territory and the meaning is that even though when it comes to the humanitarian needs we have our own responsibility, on the other hand, all the needs which are more than the humanitarians, uh, humanitarian needs will not be supplied by, Israeli, by Israel to uh, Gaza Strip. It's no secret that the United States uh, declares Hamas a terrorist uh, organization. Um, and that we've been troubled by the fact that uh, Hamas did what they did in the Gaza against legitimate Palestinian uh, institutions. We have uh, been very concerned that two things be understood. One is that we will not abandon the innocent uh, Palestinians in Gaza and indeed will make uh, every effort to, to deal with their humanitarian needs. And secondly, that uh, Gaza and the West Bank um, are en marge de cette visite et de ses déclarations, il est question de la tenue en novembre prochain à Washington du sommet pour la paix et d'un accord de principe ou un accord final entre Israéliens et Palestiniens. Our own interest is to reach an agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. It's not because of the international process, uh, international pressure, but this is our own uh, interest and our own need. But uh, it is very important to find what is the common denominator, whether there are common grounds that we can uh, agree upon in these kind of sensitive issues. And this is part of the dialogue between uh, Olmert, and this was part of the dialogue between Olmert and Abu Mazen. And we need to find out whether we can bridge the gaps on certain issues which are more sensitive. Quant aux délégations qui doivent participer cet automne à la conférence internationale pour la paix à Washington, la secrétaire d'État américaine ne prend apparemment aucun risque. We haven't invited anyone yet, so I'm not going to uh, address the issue of participation until we address the issue of participation. Or ces derniers jours, c'est la délicate question de la menace nucléaire iranienne qui se trouve sur toutes les lèvres diplomatiques de la région. For President Bush, uh, that the United States is uh, committed to a diplomatic track because we believe a diplomatic track will work. Um, the President of the United States also never takes any of his options off the table. Uh, that it is not business as usual with a state that is seeking the technologies that could lead to a nuclear weapon and whose President uh, has said the most awful things about uh, another member of the United Nations, speaking of wiping uh, Israel off the map. So it can't be business as usual with Iran. Uh, but our view is that the uh, diplomatic track uh, can work. It has to have both 
uh, a way for Iran to pursue a peaceful resolution of this uh, issue, and it has to have teeth. And uh, the UN Security Council and uh, other measures are providing teeth. Succès ou échec de cette sixième tournée proche orientale pour Condoleezza Rice, réponse attendue en novembre prochain.